guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by so today i'm going to share with you this gorgeous purple hello cut crease eye look and you know what uh, i went for shopping just after finishing this video and literally there were two girls they came to me and they gave me compliment for my eye look and it feels really good when people really notice your hard work and give you compliment so yeah before starting please take a moment to subscribe and please uh, help my channel to grow even more so yeah without further ado let's get started first i'm taking this milani stay uh, put brow color in 05 dark brown and i'm just uh, creating the borders of my brows first then i'll be filling it in using smaller strokes i already shared with you my eyebrow routine a couple of months ago if you want to check that out i will link that uh, video down in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out now i'm just combing my brows with a spoolie so that there is no excess product now i'm taking this maybelline hd wine concealer in 20 sand sable i believe and i'm just um cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and the brush that i'm using is from puna store i'm also applying the concealer on my eyelid to prime uh, my eyelids for eyeshadows now i'm just blending everything out using a damp beauty sponge from l'oreal now i'm taking this ori flame translucent loose powder and i'm just setting the uh, concealer so that it does not crease for my eyes first i'm taking this dark brown uh, color from my uh, wet and wild color icon vi purple palette and with this elf brush i'm just applying it slightly above my crease because i have hooded eyes if you do not have hooded eyes then uh, apply the color directly onto your crease and this shade has a hint of purple in it I'm taking this warm brown transition shade from the same palette and I'm just diffusing the borders so that everything looks uh, seamless and there is a smooth gradation and the brush that I'm using is the wet and wild crease brush. Now I'm taking the same uh, dark brown shade and I'm just applying it uh, on my outer V area and on my inner corners to have that halo effect. Now I'm cutting my crease and I'm just creating a funnel like shape here and yeah the brush is looking from Puna Store. This is their lip brush I believe. As you can see I have created a funnel like shape. I'm just diffusing the borders uh, of the concealer so that blending becomes easier later on. I'm taking this shimmery purple color from the same palette and with my finger I'm just applying it all over uh, on my eyelids and I have not set the concealer with powder. The concealer is still tacky and it's um, acting as an eyeshadow base for the shimmer shade. Now with a flat brush I'm just applying it on the borders. I'm taking this bright purple color from the same palette and I'm just applying it between the brown shade and the shimmery purple shade to have a nice gradation from a dark color to a lighter color. This is a stunning, stunning color. I'm doing the same for the outer area as well. I'm just uh, blending out the edges using the same dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm taking this Milani eye topper in beaming light and I'm just applying it on the center. You can totally skip this step. I think it looks stunning on its own as well. I'm going to finish my face for that first I'm priming my face with this elf uh, poreless putty primer and I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago so I'm not moisturizing my face again now for color correcting I'm using my illegal pro conceal color character in orange and I'm just applying it uh, around my mouth because I have hyperpigmentation over those area and I'm also applying it wherever I have acne spots and underneath my eyes because I have tremendous dark circle and if I don't color correct it looks a bit grayish in color 
I'm just uh, blending it out using my finger. One thing I recently discovered about this color character, if I blend out with my finger, it becomes one shade lighter, which is a perfect color correcting shade for me. Now from my foundation, I'm taking this LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating Foundation in natural and I'm just buffing it in using my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge. I, uh, I was using this foundation for the first time and I think the shade is a perfect match for my skin tone and I fell in love with this foundation. It gives um, your skin a nice luminosity. If you have normal to dry skin, you will enjoy this foundation. Now for highlighting and concealing, I'm using the same Age Wine Concealer and I'm just applying it underneath my eyes uh, down the bridge of my nose on the center of my forehead cupid bow the sides of my mouth chin and just under where i'm going to place my contour next now again i'm just blending everything out using the same damp beauty sponge as i always say blending out your um, highlighting concealer is really really important otherwise it looks like a straight white mark and it does not look good at all I'm setting my under eye area and my smile lines with the same Oriflame loose powder and for that I'm using the same damp beauty sponge. This is my most preferred way for setting my uh, smile lines and my under eye area. I'm also going to bake uh, those areas um, because I get creases on those areas pretty quickly. Also if I get any fallout due to the eyeshadows it will be uh, really helpful to dust it off later without spoiling my base. For my interface, I'm taking this Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Pressed Powder in 001 Transparent and with this large powder brush from Equiate Beauty, I'm just setting my interface. Now for my eyes, first I'm tight lining my eyes using my Jordana Is Liner in Jet Black. Now taking the dark brown shade, I'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line and for that I'm using an angled brush again from Puna Store. Now taking that bright purple color, I'm just applying it um, on the outer V area and on the inner part. Basically, I'm just repeating the same thing that I did for my uh, eyelid. Now taking the shimmery um, purple color, I'm just applying it on the center of my lower lash line. Now I'm taking this Wet and Wild Mega Liner in black and I'm just creating a nice wing here. This is again my one of favorite uh, eyeliners at the moment. If you are looking for a good eyeliner, you can give it a shot. I'm just dusting off the excess powder. And I'm taking this uh, Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in uh, Golden Lights. And I'm just uh, highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners. Again, uh, this was for the first time I was using this highlighter and this is such a great highlighter. For my mascara, I'm using this uh, Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara and I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes. Love the wand of this mascara. Perfect for lower lashes. For my falsies, I'm using this Kiss Lashes in Bastia of the camera and here is the final eye look. I love the way how it turned out. I'm going to finish my face. For that, first I'm taking this uh, Makeup Revolution Duo Face Sculpt, and uh, with this Wet and Wild Contour Brush, I'm just uh, car carving out the parameters of my face, like the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline, forehead. Also, I'm going to contour my nose. For that, I'm using an eyeshadow brush again from Puna Store. For my blush, I'm using this Wet and Wild Color Icon Blush in Precious Petals and with this uh, stippling brush from Wet and Wild, I'm just applying it on my cheeks. For my highlighter, I'm using the same uh, Makeup Revolution highlighter and with this fan brush from Puna Stoke, I'm just uh, hitting the high points of my face like my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow, down the bridge of my nose, also the sides of my forehead. This is a stunning highlighter. I'm just setting my entire makeup using my e.l.f. makeup setting spray. Now for my lips, first I'm lining as well as filling them up using my Wet n Wild Perfect Wow Gel Eyeliner in Lay Down The Mauve. And for my lipstick, I'm using this uh, Lynx Lip Laundry in Beauty Mark. 
and I have been loving this combo lately. This is like the most perfect nude lip combo for my skin tone. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Also please share this video with your friends and family and if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out. So see you soon in my next one. Till then bye and take care.